the top of the nether is massive and it just keeps going and going and going in a straight line nothing in your way absolutely nothing you can do all sorts up here but you've got to get through this black stuff this bedrock how are you meant to break the unbreakable i'm going to show you how Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamance. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not exactly a farm. It is just being able to create a farm. One of the questions that gets asked all the time, including by me fairly recently, is how do you get on top of the nether? Being on top of the nether is really quite handy. The reason it's quite handy is, one, you can get transportation systems that mean you can get for miles and miles and miles in the overworld because every transportation system, every eight blocks you move in the overworld is one in the nether, so therefore every one in the nether is eight in the overworld. So if you do like 500 blocks in the nether, you've gone 4,000 blocks in the overworld. It's really good to be able to create transportation systems. And if you do it on top of the nether, it's just flat. There's just nothing there, nothing gets in the way. You're just, you're good to go. You just lay your track and off you go. And it's absolutely brilliant, but also, there's really good ways to build gold farms. And I'll do gold farm in the nether tutorial in a future video. But you've got to get up there first, right? And getting up through that bedrock, well, given that bedrock cannot be destroyed in survival, it is a little bit tricky. So today, I'm going to show you one, how to get through the bedrock, and two, how to make a hole in the bedrock so you can get back down again. Shall we crack on with it? I think we should. What I've got to do first is I've got to turn around. I've found my way up from the nether up to the top. And we're going to come up here and up and up and up and up and up and I've marked the block here you can see with a torch so if I stand on there and I look up I can see there is a bedrock that's kind of quite high there's a hole and if I was to tower up if I just get myself um, where's my stuff let's get my uh, never right if I tower up as high as it will let me go and then I press F3 you can see there that my Y coordinate is 125. That means my head is at 125. And that's as high as your head can go whilst you're in the nether under the bedrock, which means that this block here is only one block thick. And we are really looking for a one block thick bit. So the objective is to get through here using an ender pearl. And sometimes this takes a little while. Sometimes you get a little bit lucky and you can even do it just cold like this. So but that didn't work, so let's try again. Nope, still didn't work. You don't often get that lucky, and it really needs a bit of lag for that to actually work properly. And you've got to have plenty of food as well, because those hearts go down. Get yourself a rabbit's foot. Make yourself a potion of leaping. And then you can jump just that little bit further, a little bit higher, which is just enough boost to perhaps get you high enough to lob an ender pearl through the rock whilst you're flying, and then you land out on the top so it takes a few goes as well be prepared to go ouch a really lot sometimes you do it time one sometimes it takes time 40 but let's have a go nope 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 told you this takes a little while let's get ourselves all sorted And there we go, we managed to get through eventually. What did that take? That took um, 23 ender pearls. Oh no, but I wasted one, didn't I? So 22 ender pearls to get us on top of the nether. And you can see we've already got some mushrooms spawning over there, look. Uh, and it just takes us popping through here and it knows that there is someone up here and therefore it starts to spawn stuff. So let's get our hearts back. And what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a block any block doesn't matter what any block and we're gonna get the block there and we're gonna find where 11 oh we're going the wrong way right so I've now got to find 45 6 5 and 11 so it's this block here that's the block that we want to be on just there so now what we've got to do is we've got to set the system up. Maybe I should have used a different block than obsidian to mark that block. That might have been a little bit daft. But anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to straddle this block there 
and there with two sticky pistons. This is the block that we want to remove underneath this block. Then what we can do here is we want to get one block diagonally there, one block diagonally there, and then put an activator rail right there. Then we do need obsidian, specifically obsidian. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five, and then we're going to run all the way across to that piston right there. We do need a cobblestone wall right there and a cobblestone wall right there. Now, this is why I should have used something other than obsidian. I need to mine that obsidian out. So let's get rid of that quickly. I'll have that back, thank you very much. Now the reason that was so quick is because I've got an efficiency five pickaxe. I recommend that is something you invest in. Then get yourself a redstone repeater. Miss out the first one, you come there, put it on full tick, there, and five. Then gap there, one, put that on full tick, and another five, like that. Then get yourself a little bit of redstone, redstone there, and you're going to connect those up like that. Then you're going to stick this into a block. That block can have a bit of redstone there, which gives you the ability to power either of these pistons. And we're going to power this piston first, just like that. So now we want to get our first lot of minecart TNT. Oh, let's just get rid of all of this malarkey here. We don't need these two. They're going to be in the way. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Careful you don't take out any of this stuff. Fairly important. Now the idea is that you're going to be putting a lever there. You're going to be firing this um, minecart with TNT in it and it's going to explode at the same time that this piston pushes out. So let's do that and it's going to do something really quite weird. So fire that off. Get out of the way. Boom. That booms. And look what's going on here. What's going on here? Look, we've got a piston without a piston head on it. And that's exactly what we're after. And then we want to put our walls back. Really, really important. Turn off that. No, don't turn off that. Because what happens, there you go. I've demonstrated exactly what happens when you don't do it right. So that was deliberate, obviously. So we're just going to do that again. That wasn't what we were after at all. So let's just mine this bit out because that wall is now in the wrong place. Thank you very much. Right, so that's how not to do it. And this is why you bring spares. There you go. So number eight, back on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try that again, and we're going to throw that piston. That's going to blow up. It's all going to do the same thing as it did last time. There we go. And we've lost the piston head. But before, before, dear viewer, you turn that off, get yourself a little bit of redstone block stick the redstone block there and then and only then you can turn off this thing here because if you depower this piston here it ain't gonna work I'll tell you that for nothing it just ain't gonna work so now you see it's all depowered and everything's fine and you can take out the block that's underneath it there you go just perfect so now we've got to do phase two. So we've reset the system and we're ready to roll the next bit. We've got to connect up this redstone now to this piston. And the way we're going to do that is by shoving a block in there. That then obviously the power goes through those, in through that, into that block, and boom, we'll power that piston. And we put in, well, I'll just demonstrate that, that works there now. So if I flick that, without there being anything to boom it, that shot fires that there, and then that turns off like that so now I'm just going to mine out that wall there because I need to replace that that's fairly important so now we're going to do exactly the same thing but we're going to put the minecart with TNT on there like that and that should theoretically blow up the same way as the first one did and lose the head so let's get out of the way boom and there we go so now we've got two systems without heads on and now we're going to put that block there we're going to put a nice redstone block on top of that, and that now can be switched off. Thank you very much. So if we flick that off, they will stay the same. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those, being very careful that we don't mind out those pistons, because that would be a disaster. And we can take out this entire system. So let's get this out of the way, because we've got to move on to the what I think is really quite clever bit, and how the person that invented this 
work this out, I have literally no clue because it is, I don't know if it's crazy or genius, but whatever it is, it's very, very good. Let's get rid of the obsidian. Right, so all of that obsidian is gone now. And what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a normal piston, not a sticky piston, upright in that position there, but we want one opposite direction right there. And the only way that I know of doing that is to come up four, ow, then stick a piston there and a piston there. Get ourselves a lever. Where's a lever? There's a lever. Get ourselves a lever there. One lever, boom, undo that, and then stick a block in the middle, boom, and undo that. And that then gives us that uh, piston facing the right way. Let's get these out. Efficiency 5 pickaxes are awesome. They take out blocks like mad. Right, so being very, very careful that we don't take out any of these bits here, we want to get our repeaters. We're going to go one, two, one, just like that. Then we're going to put one in there and one at an angle like that. So you can see the uh, arrangement that we've got. These are on just one tick. This is on two ticks. These both on one tick. And what that means is that the signal is two ticks. Uh, into each system so that has got two ticks going into it one tick one tick that's got two ticks into it one tick two ticks and that is one tick two ticks going into it then we just have to connect it up with a redstone and that is requiring us to go there 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 and there because here we are going to stick another lever you can see that all connects up really nicely so what happens when we fire this lever all that's going to happen the first time is that piston is going to shoot up in the air like this look boom there you go that shoots up in the air but it does provide power to these pistons as well the ones that we broke which means that we can now take away those redstone blocks without fear there we go so get rid of that one and get rid of that one they are still powered so it is going to work but when we unpower it something weird's going to happen and i suppose it is a bit of a glitch kind of the fact that these piston heads came off is a glitch kind of but what's going to happen is these pistons both of them the broken ones are going to kind of come back at the same time this uh, piston here is going to be sucked through this piston fire which is going to push away and cause to disappear the bedrock block that's underneath it and then this piston will come back down this piston will disappear into I don't know where and everything will be good I hope are we ready bang there we go can you see and also it's just lit up a little bit and the reason it's lit up a little bit is because there's not a bedrock block underneath here I think we can gamble and have a little look yep the bedrock block is gone can you see that so that is the way to get yourself through the bedrock we can now collect up all of our stuff and we've got ourselves just a one block hole in the blood rock that will give us access the next time we want to go anywhere so hang on, I'm just collecting everything up there we go happy days so that is the way to get through and there you have it it is pretty cool way actually isn't it it's not it doesn't seem very simple but when you actually make it it's not too bad and I quite enjoyed doing it because it's so complicated it's like making a really complicated chemistry experiment or something like that where you're having to do 17 different things to get one result but look at this we've got hugeness all around us to be able to do whatever we want now pigmen can't spawn on bedrock blocks but they can spawn on blocks that you put on the bedrock blocks because the nether does continue to expand all the way up into that redness of sky which is amazing so that is how you make some really cool farms and we're going to do that in a future episode if you have enjoyed this video please do make sure you slap that like button for me square in the face it'll be good to know that it's actually worth doing this kind of little quick this is how you do it tutorial and maybe i'll do some more in the future also if you haven't done it already please do hit that sub button it'll be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye